Good morning, dear students. I am Kiran Hasan, lecturer, Department of English, Chapel Government College. Welcoming you to our today's English class. I hope that you are absolutely fine staying at your home. And we just met after a long time. In our uh, last class, as you can recall, we were talking about changing sentences and we uh, may practice one or two rules uh, things are very much easy if you can uh, practice more and more these things will be more easier for you and uh, we were talking about different sentences we classified sentences based on their types based on their structure all their voice, narration, please, and um, we classify all the sentences as affirmative and negative. And we were practicing uh, the changing sentences from affirmative to negative and vice versa. Then from negative to affirmative also. So as we were practicing one or two rules, we are going to start from uh, uh, the next rules. Generally, we can change the sentences, just focus on the adjective. For example, let me write an adjective. If we write good here, this is an adjective. He is a good boy. And as this is the adjective, we just have to focus on this one. So, this is an affirmative sentence. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Any granted statement is considered as affirmative sentence. This is a this is an accepted truth that he is a good boy. Okay, he is a good boy. This is a statement. The statement is affirmative. So if we write bad here, he is a bad boy. This is not a negative sentence. This sentence just create a negative sense. This sentence is just create a negative sense. But this sentence is not a negative sense because this also a, an accepted statement. He is a bad boy. This is also a negative. This is also a statement. And every statement is considered as affirmative sentence. So, this one is also is an affirmative sentence and this one is also an affirmative sentence. So how can we negative this sentence? To negative, uh, to make it negative, we have to put instead of bad, we are going to put not bad. Now we are uh, look at the sentence. He is not a bad boy. He is not a bad boy. He is not a bad boy. That means he is a good boy. Isn't it? Yes. So here the meaning is not changed. If you look at the, set, uh, the uh, previous sentence, he is a bad boy and he is a good boy. The meaning is totally changed. You cannot alter your sentence. You cannot alter your sentence. You cannot change the meaning of your sentence. Rather, you have to put the intact meaning of the sentence. Sentence, just uh, let me tell you one thing. A sentence is very, very much important in our life. You always use positive sentences. A sentence can make you, a sentence can break you, a sentence can shake you, it can build you, it can destroy you, it can make you sense, it can, it can just crush you. Sense. So always try to use positive sentences in your day to day life. So he is not a bad boy. So in this way we can make our uh, affirmative sentence negative. If we put he is an honest, he is an honest boy, this is an affirmative sentence. And we cannot put he is an he is a dishonest boy. He is a dishonest boy. He may have a negative rest, uh, response or negative sense, but dishonest boys will also be 
and affirmative sentence. So how can you change this? He is not a dishonest. He is not a dishonest boy. Isn't it easy? Yes. It is very much easy to change affirmative sentence to negative. But all the sentences are not so much easy. You cannot change your sentences just changing the adjective. We have to focus on some more rules. So let's have another rule. For example, everyone hates a lie. Everyone hates a lie. This is a granted statement. That is why this is a this is an affirmative sentence. Everyone hates a lie. So how can we change this into a negative one? We cannot say that everyone loves a child. A lie loves a lie. We cannot say that. Because if we say that everyone loves a liar, the meaning will be totally changed. The meaning will be altered and the altered sentence cannot be accepted. We have to change the sentence without changing its meaning. So how can we change? Try to translate it into Bangla in your head. Everyone hates a liar. That means, Shobai Khrina Kore and Jorvit Kavalke. যে জিনিসটা সবাই করে তাহলে সেটা কি যদি নেগেটিভ করতে চাই তাহলে কি হবে কেউই সেটা করে তাই তো যেটা সবাই করে সেটা কেউই করবে না তাহলে এভরিওয়ানের পরিবর্তে কি আসবে এয়ার ইজ নো ওয়ান একজনও থাকবে না যেহেতু সবাই ঘৃণা করে তাহলে নিশ্চয়ই এমন একজন কেউ পাওয়া যাবে না যে ভালোবাসে সবাই যদি মিথ্যাবাদীকে ঘৃণা করে তাহলে কি এমন একজন কেউ পাওয়া যাবে যে কিনা ভালোবাসে নো তাহলে এভরিওয়ান উইল বি চেঞ্জ ইন টু দেয়ার ইজ নো ওয়ান অ্যান্ড হেটস উইল বি চেঞ্জ ও অ্যান্ড দেয়ার ইজ নো ওয়ান এর পরে একটা পাহাড় বসা যায় ইস পাহাড় উইল কাম আফটার দেয়ার ইজ নো ওয়ান সো এভরিওয়ান উইল বি চেঞ্জ ইন টু দেয়ার ইজ নো ওয়ান দেন উই হ্যাভ টু কুক এ পাট অ্যান্ড then hates a liar so what how we can transform this everyone hates a liar that means there is no one but hates a liar there is no one but hates a liar but hates a liar but hates a liar so this is how we can change these sentences so let's practice another sentence so this is how we can change these sentences so let's practice another sentence if we write ever on the iceberg circle we will transform from negative to affirmative there is no body but fear is a liar same structure there is no one but it is a liar now we are writing there is no body but fear is a liar remember ek jono paa jabe na je ki ki kore liar bhoy pae na othat shimho ke bhoy pae na so how can we change there is no body এই পরিবর্তে আমরা যেন কি কি পেয়েছিলাম এভরি ওয়ান সো উই উইল রাইট এভরি ওয়ান দেন এখন কি দিবে এই বাক্যটা উঠে যাবে সো এভরি ওয়ান বাকি যেটা আছে সেটা উঠে যাবে সো উই ডু নট হ্যাভ টু চেঞ্জ দ্য ফুল সেন্টেন্সেস উই জাস্ট ফোকাস অন সাম অ্যাসপেক্টস হিয়ার এভরি ওয়ান এভরি ওয়ান উইল বি চেঞ্জ অ্যাজ देयर इज নো ওয়ান বাট and there is nobody but this one will change into everyone baki the the remaining will be the same the remaining will be the same very easy so let's look at one another rule and uh what is the rule using as soon as let's have uh, let's uh, try another sentence by practicing examples If you memorize the rules, it will last long. So at first try, at first uh, practice more and more examples. The rule rule will be automatically engaged into your brain. So as soon as he saw the tiger, he ran away. This is an affirmative sentence. This is 
and affirmative sentence. As soon as he saw the title behavior, so if Jokuni looks at the back of the table, top of the door. So Jokuni is the table. He is the guy who is going to change. If Jokuni is not there, so our table is now the top table. Negative sentence create for the negative sentence part. So as soon as Jokuni looks at the back of the table, as soon as Papa Boy will get this, as soon as this, as soon as will be changed into no sooner had. So as soon as will be changed into no sooner had me and as this is the present uh, this is the uh, past perfect tense so we have to put so a verb ka kiyo jabe verb 3 jeta ke past participle ko lakha no sooner had me seen the tiger the remaining one will be the same and no sooner had jekhan thakhe chen hai at the party world world and what is that party world chita ho chhe then then he ran away now look as soon as it has changed way no sooner had he he saw the change way ho chhe participle seen hai the tiger and for a party then jekhan no sooner thakhe hoi sentence ekta then thakhe ठीक है मन रखते हैं जे सेंटेंस के हमरा नो सुना हेड मोशन हो चीज सेंटेंस से एकटा देन থাকবে देन ही रन अवे बुझे गेलो नो सुना हेड दिस इन द टाइगर देन ही रन अवे এখন আমরা যদি চেঞ্জ করে দেই অর্থাৎ এবার আমরা নেগেটিভ টু পজিটিভ করব नो सुना हेड द बॉय The police. Then he ran away. Is that for affirmative sentence that you have? No sooner had the boy seen the police than he ran away. Is that positive sentence that you have? No sooner had will be changed as as soon as. So, is that? So, we need to know what to do. You just try and comment below. If you cannot answer, then I will answer that in our next class. Let's focus on another role. and that is using always and never never and always so he is always punctual this is an affirmative sentence he is always punctual <coughs> when you will find when you find that there is there is a word like always always means for all time that means shop shop or tha je jinish ta shop shomoy kora hoy सब समय सब समय That means the meaning here is not changed. At the meaning, he is always punctual and he is never late. And what is the difference between different between uh, never and no? No and never are just like the differences. So, let me tell you something. No man is saying no. Judy Bolla, you have seen no man in the game. So, you have to answer Judy Bolla no. It means you do the meaning of the word. That means you have to go to one more time, go to two more times, go to three more times, go to five more times. And after that, you have to go again. So no do the meaning of, but when you say that never, that means that each one will be open or jam. Okay, so, so slightly difference between no and never. So this thing is that always which is that always the poori bhorte, our bhasha bolche never. Our punctual the poori bhorte, bolta na late bhorte chhelo. Our the bhorte bhasha the dekho meaning the intent bolche, but word the change hoye chhe. So if I write I never. Tell lie. So now you try to change the negative sentence into an affirmative sentence. I never tell lie. How can we change this one? Jhil pe kare never aise never rahe iski ki bache hai always bache. Aur tell tell ek jagah thi lie ek jagah thi true. Very easy. I always tell true. 
I always tell truth. Okay, let's focus on another example. Now we are going to uh, give reference from degree. We are going to break this in superlative degree. Okay, he is the best batsman in the team. in the team is as good as him so look here jehetu she hocche best tar mane onno ar keu tar moto bhalo nai tai to ei ta ti amra english e likhechi he is the best batsman no other batsman in the team is as good as him tar moto bhalo ar keu nai स्ट्रंगार He is stronger than you. So this is an uh, this is a comparative sentence. He is stronger. That means he. She to match his shakti shali mani. You meet match his shakti shali na thay to. You meet she to match his shakti shali. It is affirmative answer. Negative portion na mande just simply it is negative portion ka portion thay. She to match his shakti shali. Tar mani ki you are not stronger than him. Just simply right. You are. not so strong as him so he is stronger than you that means you are not so strong as him so comparative sentence ta ke amra jokhon change korbo shekhane amra so ekhane abar so er poriborte ayat boshte paro no problem sentence er meaning er kono somoshya hobe na he is not as strong as him I hope you understood. So, uh, let's have another example from positive sentence. Comparative, superlative, then now we are in positive sentence. So he is as good as me. He is as good as you. Positive sentence. एक बार ने समझ चुका होना है जब एक है ना तो तोड़ना नहीं और तब शे आमर चे भालो एक बार बोला नहीं जब उनको बिजली बोल बजे आमर तब चे खाओ. So he is as good as you. That means you are not, you are not more good, you are not less good than him. Now let me give you a little. You are not less good than him. Same. Ek hi sense kaat kuch se. He is as good as you. That means you are not less good than him. मच लाभ एंड गॉड ब्लेस थैंक यू